All right, can this amaranth right here be crushed and eaten in my mortar and pestle? Just take a little bit here. Oh my god. It's leaking out uh, one of the sides. I got a hole in the bag. Oh well. I'll have to get that in somewhere. Alright, so start out with kind of a grinding. Maybe you uh, they bounce around a little bit when you when you smack around them. Oh they're tough. They roll too, they're so round. Switch up hands because that one got tired. And it's so much easier to do this, but I sometimes smack stone against stone. And that could cause damage to this mortar and pestle. I would only want to use stone for grinding these too, because this takes a lot of effort. It's slowly, slowly falling apart into dust, slowly getting dusted. I'm starting to warm up. See, you gotta accept some, some loss. Some will fly out of this container and, oh, there is quite a bit. It's unfortunate that has to happen. If I had a regular table, then I could catch it. Maybe even use a cutting board, but I'm afraid that might make noise. See, part of the reason I don't think many people use this method because it makes a lot of noise for the other people who are living in the same building as you. They might complain. So these may, but you know, machines are pretty loud and annoying too. <clears throat> but this. This is a noise that would be ongoing for a lot longer than a machine. A machine would quickly tear this up within a few seconds. But when you do it by hand, it takes... Yeah, I'm smacking. I don't want to smack stone against stone. Sometimes I've smelt a burnt smell when I smack the sides. It's like lighting a match or something. I'm, I'm not creating a spark, but... It must be doing enough similar to a flint and steel to cause a little burn that could to cause that burn smell. So it's slowly dusting up. Oh, some just fell out. And the longer you, the more time you take on this, the more dust you'll get, the more powder more of a powdery. I believe this can be eaten raw. Tearing it up like this allows you to eat it raw. Not the first choice, not my first choice to eat it raw, but sometimes you can't always cook it. Sometimes you're not always near a kitchen. You gotta be stealthy.
Changing up hands frequently is okay, you need that rest. Turn some more fallout. Turning into quite a powder now. <laughs> oh, maybe some of that noise is the amaranth inside the bag. So that's, that's pretty much a powder now. Most of it, the majority of it's in powder form. So there you have it.